Uh, all right, so Mary J. Blige, it pains me to talk, uh, but now people are talking so much. The most recent talk is being done uh, in the newspaper today. Mary J. Blige, who sold more than 50 million albums, is having financial problems. What? Well, according to the most recent thing in today's New York Daily News, it's gotten so bad that they slapped a notice I on the door of her Upper West Side apartment for back rent. So now everybody sees the notice. And, and reportedly the rent is more than $9,000 a month. Well, I, I don't know whether I'm reporting rich people's problems or whether Mary really is, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Is, is this a rich people's problem or is this Mary really in a snit? You know, the other day um, it was reported that she allegedly owes the state of New Jersey $900,000. Uh, she's defaulting on millions in loans. See, these reports have been going on now for so many months, and I've been biting my tongue till it bleeds, biting my tongue till it bleeds. I can't, I can't, I can't. And she also owns two multi-million dollar mansions in New Jersey. What do you need with two mansions and an apartment? I mean, it's you and your husband can do, and there's no children living with you that I know of. Like, what do you need with so much uh, stuff? Mary, what are we gonna do? Hey, where, hey, where are all your rich friends when you need them? And what's going on with that fragrance and the HSN line and the Carol's daughter and, I mean, and I know you're not back on drugs, you say. Because as a former offender, that's the first thing people think about us when we, when we flinch wrong, you know, is that, oh, is she getting high again? No, I know, this is, I know this is not drugs. I don't know what's going on, but Mary, if you ever want to set the record straight and you want to do it through more than just a statement, my stage is your stage. And let me tell you. I don't know how you're gonna get yourself out of this pickle if all this stuff is true, but we're watching the story. I'm sorry I had to talk, but I'm the Hot Topics lady and this is the All Hot Topics Show! But now the Daily Star is reporting that Adele is considering a huge offer to have a residency in Las Vegas. I don't like this idea. Well, it would allow her, this is what is appealing, you know, as a new mother, it, it's going to allow her to focus on raising her son. And also, she, I guess, would rather do that instead of doing a world tour now that, she, you know, she has her son and everything. Plus, she can relax in Vegas, do her uh, show, and record her third album. Problem is, is that I don't see Adele, and I love Adele. I love her, love her. But, but there's nothing about her to me that reads Vegas. You know, the shimmery gowns, you know, shirtless men oiled up, lifting you up and taking you across the stage. You know, like the cheesiness of Vegas. Like, she's a real artiste. She writes her music. She sings from the soul. You know how there's some people that you think they love their job so much that they're not doing it for the money. They're doing what feeds their soul. Adele is one of those types. I just don't want her to go to Vegas. I don't think that that's her crowd. I, as a matter of fact, I don't, I don't even see her... I don't even see her performing at big venues like Madison Square Garden. I see her performing her best at like the theater at Madison Square Garden, which is a smaller venue inside where she can talk to her audience and then sing and then talk some more and she doesn't have to dance. Anyway, Vegas is not for you, Adele, but Mary, I just figured out a way to get that money. <laughs> If you did Vegas, you'd kill it. And all that debt. Think about it.